Hi guys, it's Emily here from Yellow Tuxedo. I hope you're well today. Today, I'm talking about how you can exclude your IP address from Google Analytics. Why am I doing that? Because we were asked. And we always love to create videos for you guys when you have questions that need to be answered. So if you have anything you'd like us to start creating for you, do be sure to leave us a comment below. Now, before we get started, we are on our way to those magic 1,000 subscribers. And we would love, 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 love if you want to subscribe to our channel. And of course, if you like this video, give us a little thumbs up. We'd love you forever. Here I am in the back end of Google Analytics. As you can see, I'm on real-time stats and there is one user on our website. Now, shocker, that person's me. Yay! And having my my data on this can actually really skew our stats especially if you are a small business with a small amount of people visiting your website every single month if you are inclined to be visiting your website a lot if you're making tweaks and changes having your data can really really make it difficult to understand what is true traffic and what's not so to work with a cleaner set of data we want to remove you from this mix and to do that we're going to exclude your ip address and to do that is super simple head over to the admin panel at the bottom and on the third column, under view column, we have filters. Click the red button to add filter. Filter name can be anything you like. I'm going to put home for now and hit the custom tab there on the right hand side. Filter field, I can search here for IP, IP address. And then I'm going to write my IP address. Now I'm just going to put one random one because I'm not going to give mine off just right now. If you don't currently know your IP address, simply go to Google, type in what is my IP address, and it will tell you straight off that on a Google search. That's the easiest way of finding your IP address. And all you need to do then is hit the save button. And there you go. A filter has been created ready for you to exclude your data from this set. And that's it. I hope you find that useful. It's a really simple thing to do, but will really help you get cleaner understanding of who is visiting your website. So it's not just you spending time on your website. I hope that helped and have an amazing day. See you later.